So a lot of you are probably wondering why I haven't done an update about this finger yet, but the reason really is because one, I didn't feel like there was a whole lot to talk about while it was going through the healing stage, and two, it's been rather frustrating for me, but I figure, you know, it's time to start talking about it. And the reason is, last evening I got home from my uh, physical therapy appointment and I, I had a real frustrating trying day with this thing yesterday. In fact, the last week or so has been pretty frustrating, but uh, I know everything looks good on camera when I make the videos and I don't show, you know, a whole lot about what's going on with this hand. It looks like I'm able to use it, but... Let's uh, get this camera set up to where you guys can see this finger and I'll show you how things are looking and healing and kind of what the future looks like hopefully uh, and we are at the seven week point this Friday. Today is Tuesday so it'll be seven weeks this Friday since I had surgery so six and a half weeks right now. This is where we're at in the recovery process. So like I was saying, I got home from my physical therapy yesterday and the main reason I was wanting to post this video is because I just, I had a try, I've, it's been very frustrating lately and I had a trying day here uh, yesterday and I started researching videos on YouTube and there's not much information but I found some videos and there were people posting pictures and videos of what their fingers look like at different points of the stage they had the exact same surgery and so i thought i would try to you know kind of jump into this community and help people out because there's a community of people out there who've had the same surgery and they want to know what's going on because it almost feels like one guy said desperate but here it is so you see the finger and uh it's healing well it actually you can't even i mean you can see it but the scar is healing very well uh, this little spot right here that's not healing so well that was actually not there about five days ago it was completely healed up just like the rest of the scar tissue but then I was getting frustrated with the lack of mobility and I was trying to be too aggressive with a little tool they gave me to kind of work the scar tissue and I got really aggressive in here and I, I felt something kind of, just a small slight pop in there. It, I'm sure it wasn't the tendon, you know, like the the therapist said that if it was the tendon, I would know it. It would be super painful and I would feel it, but it might have been scar tissue or the just the tissue underneath the surface skin here, but it started bleeding under the skin there and kind of opened up that that portion of the of the scar right there, but... It's pretty swollen. Really, the truth is it's been swollen all along. The swelling's never really gone away. And a lot of people's videos say that uh, the swelling can last for months. And that's been my biggest challenge. So I can't really use the finger yet. Here, let's just show you the mobility at, it's what I say, six and a half weeks. This is the mobility I've got. So my other fingers weren't affected. I sliced the finger right here. And this was my FDP tendon controlling the end of my finger here I had surgery on that to repair it right here anyway and then I sliced the nerve right here so all these fingers were okay and I can make it's hard to make a fist because this finger won't go but I can those fingers are okay I can make a fist with those but this one will not bend at this last little joint right here and one of the things that I'm struggling with is it's just the mental challenge of is this ever going to heal really but the thing I'm struggling most with is I don't know if it's actually working or not and here's the two things that can go wrong that I'm finding as I research more and more one I've either got too much swelling as you can see it's that pinky is double the size <laughs> if you look across the joint right here it's double the size of this pinky and so that would inhibit bending it. The other thing is the tendon can actually scar tissue, so much scar tissue can form in there that the tendon can adhere to the surrounding scar tissue and then you can still bend it. This is, I get a little more mobility than that, but here's what a normal pinky would look like. It folds right up there, but this guy's so swollen that's about as good as it gets. Um, I get a little bit more when it's really warm with warm, you know, I put it in warm water for like five minutes and then I can get a little bit more, but, um, but the scar tissue really binds things up. And so what can happen is you can actually be able to move it, 
but the tendon inside can't actively pull it down. And so I don't know if that's the case or if it's just swollen. Now I did a little test last night and maybe some of you guys, and of course you gotta ask your doctor first, but I did a little test last night to, to see what I could do with the end of my finger. And what I did was I put my hand in really, really hot water and just soaked it for like five minutes so that, and that really helps with the pain. And then just take my finger and I sat there with pressure and just squeezed in and just sat there and held it until I got it almost straight across. It was not easy, but I got it almost straight across. And what that did is it squeezed a lot of the fluid out of the finger and freed up this joint right here so that I was then able to quickly, and I have to do it quickly because it fills right back up with fluid again, but I, I quickly opened it up and then grabbed my finger here and blocked it like they teach and tried to wiggle that finger and right now I can't do it. You see it wiggling but it's really just this joint wiggling. But I was able to wiggle and I had my wife look at it. I said, honey look, is it my crazy brain seeing it or is it real? And you could actually see the end of my finger wiggling, just the end of my finger. So I know that tendon is intact. To what degree is it gonna work? I don't know. At this point, I'm just gonna keep working it and trying to keep my mind in a happy place. <laughs> But this is what I've got so far. So I'm basically, I could, these tendons always work to pull to this point. It's the end one that I cut. So that's the one that I still can't really do anything with. Maybe it's because of the swelling, but like you should naturally, somebody who hasn't been injured should be able to take their fingers and curl them all the way in and make a fist like that. I can't do that with this hand. All I can do is touch the palm. Now, the one thing I can do, and the doctor mentioned this, that this might be the best it gets, I don't know, is grab this finger. Your, my pinky naturally kind of curls in a little bit. So when I try to bring everything down together, it naturally kind of grabs the pinky and curls it in. But that's as tight as I can get it. It just doesn't want to curl in all the way unless I manually force it in. But without curling it with this finger... That's what it does. It's just got nothing. It just won't. There's just nothing here. It, there's not enough strength. So I can't naturally make a fist without grabbing it. And then it's not a very good tight fist just because of the swelling, I think. I think once the swelling goes down, I'll be able to make that fist. But I saw one video where the guy, the guy had severed both tendons here. And... He was able to, <clears throat> he was able to, in the beginning, like where he, when he was at my stage, I think it was even at 10 weeks, he couldn't bend the tips of his fingers. It was the same thing. You could make a fist like that. And these fingers went in, but these two just stick straight out. But after a year of working it, he was able to get them in. Not a full fist, but a pretty good fist. I would be happy with that much mobility. I would be happy to just be able to use the end. I mean, it may never, it's never probably going to be 100%. I'm trying to keep a good attitude, but, but right now I can't even do that. It just kind of bends down and touches the palm, which it's aggravating. This, for anybody who's had this surgery, it is, I keep a good face on camera, but you go through a lot of emotions, and it is a very, you know, you go 40 years being able to just do this without even thinking about it, and all of a sudden you can't grab things. It, it is definitely, it plays head games on you, and it is definitely not a fun experience, and so I feel for you guys that are going through this, but uh, I don't know, we're getting there. I hope I can get more than what I've got now, just because, just because, I mean, it's it's it hinders you, it really gets in the way. The one thing I did good that the therapist is really happy with is... I worked really hard. He, one of the things he said in the very beginning was, a lot of people come back and like, this is really hard. Uh, you guys can't feel it, obviously. You can see it, but you can't feel it. But all in here is all just thick scar tissue. It feels like a plate of concrete under there. And so one of the things this does is it binds everything up. And so when I wake up in the morning, everything's just kind of curled up and it doesn't want to, like that's, that's the best I got right there. Let's see if I can twist around. 
that's the that's the straightest I can get it on my own. The other fingers, you see how straight they are, and then that kind of... I can force it straight. I don't want to force too hard, but when I put it in warm water, it softens everything, and I can force it straight. Um, he gave me a little tool to help kind of open that up, but he said, that's really good. He said, I've done a good job, and that was, in the beginning, he said, that's one of the biggest things they deal with is breaking up that scar tissue and opening the finger. And so from the very beginning, I focused on that really hard, just keeping that straight and straightening that out. And so it's actually doing pretty good, you know, considering I cut that sucker wide open. But uh, yeah, that's it, man. Six and a half weeks, at least I can make a, I can kind of bend my fingers. I can't really grip very well, but we're at a point now where I don't have to wear that sling anymore or that splint anymore. And uh, he wants me to start not using weight, not picking anything up with it, but I can start like brushing my teeth and typing and using my hand for daily activities, light daily activities. And we've got about another month of maybe a little over a month i don't know of physical therapy building up that strength and really working this and so hopefully that swelling will go down and i will get some more mobility out of that so i think that's all for now guys um i'll make an update about this in the future because i know somebody who's had this surgery is going to want to see the outcome here i just hope i don't have to have another surgery to remove the scar tissue in there that's it.